So like what, when we actually reached out to your profile, we first for the first time we kind of saw an optical engineer kind of profile. We haven't encountered such kind such type of profile in our lives as yet. So what is the work of an optical engineer and how do you define an optical engineer as a profession? So could you just explain that? A great question because I didn't know. I'm an optical engineer now and I was studying physics as a physics yeah. undergraduate student. I didn't know that you could be an optical engineer. So I think that, and so I'm actually always talking about, you know, what is optics and what are optical engineers? Because I know that people don't know about this, right? Because the community of us, there are thousands of us, but we're thousands in the whole world, right? So there's not that many of us out there. Um, I went a few years ago to a conference in Mexico and, you know, there was probably like, hundreds of people at the conference. And then a few months later, I went to the conference to another optics conference in Germany. The same people that were in Mexico were in Germany because there's only so many of us, right? Um, so optics is a part of physics that studies light mm. and the interaction of light with everything around it. As optical engineers, we understand how light behaves. So if we can understand it, we can manipulate it. And optics interact with everything around us. They interact with our eyes, light ref refracts. They interact with mirrors, so light reflects. They interact with diffractive gratings, so light diffracts. It goes through uh, different polarization states. We talk about polarization. The rainbow is an optical phenomena. So light, everything that has to do with light is an optical phenomena which means there's really optics happening all around us, right? We have two wonderful optical systems that are attached to our body that just happen naturally in, in nature, right? So, um, so optics, since we understand light, we can manipulate it. And a perfect example of manipulating light is a telescope. With a telescope, we can manipulate the light that is collected in a telescope so that we can very carefully you know, send it to where we want it so we can really understand the information that that light has. We could be looking at a galaxy and um, the galaxy is going to emit different types of different components of the spectrum. So visible light that we can see, infrared light that we don't have the capability to see, ultraviolet radiation that we don't have the capability to see. We know this radiation exists. We know that there are detectors that can, that are able to see this type of radiation, but our, our visible, our awesome optical system has certain capabilities. So many systems have capabilities. So the best thing that we can do is to complement those different capabilities. So actually when we send telescopes out into space, we want telescopes that operate at these different um, regions of the spectrum so that we can get a full picture. So it's really cool because um, I'm actually married to another optical engineer yeah. and he's a designer and I'm the builder. So we always talk about, you know, so he talks about things like I'm going to design this really complicated telescope. And I'm like, who's going to build that? You need to make something that we can build. And he's like, that's your problem. I don't, I get to decide something really crazy and you get to decide how to build it. So yeah. <laughs> those are the type of things that we're coming up with designers that, that come up with some really wacky sort of really new ideas and then we get some pushback from the people that are building and we're like okay maybe we can do a little bit of that crazy but not too much and we've really enhanced our capability because of that